What's up everyone, welcome back to Kevin on Cars. My name is Kevin, and today I will show you guys this very cool $60 mods that you can do to code your Mini Coopers so that it will do uh, these couple of cool things. So like um, automatically folding the mirrors when you lock the car and also unfold it when you unlock the car. And also uh, starting up your Mini in sport mode so that you don't have to switch it manually every single time. And third, you can also get rid of this annoying warning uh, when you start up the car. So that's also a really nice feature. So without further ado, let's get started. So what we'll be using today is first this OBD connector. Um, so it's a Bluetooth and OBD module right here so this one I'm using is um, I got it from Amazon it's called VPeak so um, this cost me around 30 uh, bucks but you can get other OBD connectors uh, they're also Bluetooth for around like 25 to 35 dollars so yeah just get any of those it should work and then so the first thing you want to do is to connect this to your OBD port and then when you connect it, there's a light on the bottom of it that will flash blue so that you know it's connected. And after you connect it, you want to uh, hit the ignition switch of your car so that um, it's booted up. And yeah, that's that. And now you can turn to your phone uh, that I have right now. And then first, disconnect all the Bluetooth devices that are connected with your phone currently and also you have to um, click the forget your device for the uh, mini because it will also connect to it when the car starts so you want to um, forget the mini's bluetooth if you're connected to it so yeah with that said let's start the um, actual coding okay so First, here, let me just start recording right here. So yeah, first find your uh, Beamer code app and then click it open. And then in the middle, you can find the connect button and just press that. And after you press it, it will ask you uh, which adapter you're using. And in my case, I'm using the VP connector. So, um, yeah, just select that one. Okay, so now it will take a little time to connect and uh, read all the code. We want to select the mini for your car. So, yeah, pretty simple. And now it's reading the code. So, yeah, in the meantime, let's just talk quickly about the coding and stuff. So, this is actually... In my opinion, one of the easiest and like relatively cheap mod uh, you can do for your new newest generation mini. So that would be from 15 and up. I think on the description it says it supports all the way to 13, 2013 minis, but I'm not sure about that. But I know for sure that it will support all the generation, the third generation minis. So. Yeah, anything after 2015, so the F generation. And, um, oh yeah, one more thing. People think that coding might be, like, tedious and, like, you have to have, uh, you have to know a bunch of stuff, the actual coding to code this car. But, in reality, it's actually one of the easiest mods to do. You just, like, press a couple buttons, and inside the app, everything is, like, super, um, intuitive. So... Yeah, I highly recommend this mod if you want to do it. Oh, and the third thing, oh yeah, it just finished loading. One more thing is that with these connectors, you can also get the OBD um, like scanners. So you can scan all your codes and then uh, clear the codes when you have them or like, yeah, just check out what's wrong. So that's just another uh, great feature with these uh, connectors. Okay, yeah, first we want to go to the body domain controller. As the description says, it will 
uh, have the doors, windows, driving mode, lighting, mirrors. So we want to go to that one. And after you click it, it will um, check all the, it will read the codes again. All right, so I'm just gonna fast forward the code reading process. And there you go. So now we're in the body main controller. We want to find the um, sport mode uh, default and also the mirror controls. So th these are the two things that you can change inside this um, body main controller section. Yeah, driving modes right here. So default driving modes, right now is set to comfort, which is basically in Mini's term is just normal mode. And now we want to click in and then change it to sport mode. And then go back. And then here driving mode memory, I'm not sure what that is. So we're just not, not gonna mess with it. Okay, now let's find the mirror controls. And that would be right here. So it's like towards the lower third. And the, it's the first one, so fold and unfold mirror automatically. And we want to select active. And that's it. Let's go back. There we go. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this section so we can just code come on yep we can code important note here we want to like disconnect everything um connected disconnect all the bluetooth devices as i said um in the beginning and it should be fine just press start coding and it won't take too long but I'll just fast forward this as well and then coding successful there you go so now go back to the main menu and then we want to code the um, instrument or the, the head unit which uh, we want to like get rid of all the warning mes messages when you start up the car. So go into the head unit. Well, it will read the code again. So we're gonna skip through that. And there you go. We're in. And now, so you can see all the um, settings for regarding to the head unit. And we will scroll down to the display options and then let's see there it is warnings so that's on the very bottom of the screen so warnings at startup so that's just basically the warning that I show you so just press not active and then go back and then the camera running is basically just the backup camera it says like please check your surrounding um, and like just not don't rely only on the camera or something like that so that's the warning we can get rid of and then there's also a night vision warning just gonna get rid of that as well okay so there's that and there are other interesting ones oh there's also a startup animation so right now it's in jcw there's a rolls royce what the heck all right let's try the rolls royce i don't know if this works yeah just for fun there we go and I think that's pretty much it oh one more thing there's um in the display option for the iDrive system you can you should change the um, tire pressure control to display both temperature and pressure so default it only sets to display pressure, which doesn't make any sense if you can also display the temperature by default. So just select that so you can see what temperature each tire is running and also the temp um and also the pressure. So that's uh really nice. So these are just some random settings. 
I do. Okay. So now we're done with everything. Let's just press code and same thing. It will start coding and then I'll just fast forward this. And after it's done, it will restart the ECU once again. There you go, coding successful. And yeah. And yeah, before you um, unplug the OBD port, we want to go back to the main menu and then press disconnect. And then after we disconnect it, then we can just close the app and then unplug the OBD adapter. And yeah. That's it for the installation, and now let me show you guys the end results. All right, so let's see if everything works. So let's check the warnings if it's still there. So let's start up the car. So as you can see, it jumps right in to the main menu. So the warning's not here. And then now going to the tire pressure, and da da. You can see the pressure and also the temperature. So that's exactly what we wanted. Perfect. So yeah, that's it for the main screen. Let me show you guys the mirrors. All right, so now let's check if the mirrors work. So right here, we're gonna lock the car. And there it is mirror folds in and then now unlock it the mirror automatically comes out so yeah there you go so that's pretty much it for today's video as always if you like the video please hit the like button and if you want to watch more of these re uh, mini related uh, and car related content please subscribe to my channel I, I appreciate that and as always drive safe have fun see you guys next time